Now, sir, what make you here? Nothing. I'm not taught to make anything. Know you where you are, sir? Oh, sir, very well. Here in your orchard. Know you before whom, sir? I, better than him I am before, knows me. I know that you are my eldest brother, and in the gentle condition of blood, you should know me. The courtesy of nations allows you my better in that you are the firstborn. But the same tradition takes not away my blood. Were there twenty brothers betwixt us, I have as much as my father and me as you. What boy? I am no villain. I am the youngest son of Sir Roland de Bois. Wert thou not my brother, I would not take this hand from thy throat till thou have pulled out thy tongue for saying so. Thou hast railed on thyself. Let me go, I say. I will not, till I please. You will hear me. My father charged you in his will to give me good education. You have trained me like a peasant, obscuring and hiding me from all gentlemen like qualities. The spirit of my father goes strong in me, and I will no longer endure it. Art thou thus bold in man by thy distress, or else a rude despiser of good manners, that in civility thou seemst so empty? You touched my vein at first. The thorny point of bare distress hath taken from me the show of smooth civility. Yet I am inland bred, and know some nurture. So for bar, I say, he dies that touches any of this fruit. What would you have? Your gentleness shall force more than your force move us to gentleness. I almost die for food, and let me have it. Sit down and feed, and welcome to our table. Speak you so gently. Pardon me, I pray you. I thought that all things had been savage here. Let gentleness my strong enforcement be, and with the hope I blush, hide my sword. And therefore sit you down in gentleness. There was an old poor man who after me hath taken many a weary step, oppressed with two weak evils, age and hunger. Until he first be sufficed, I will not touch a bit. Go, find him out, and we will nothing waste till you return. Thank you, and be blessed for your good company.